Hey everyone, radiation is something that comes from the sun as well as random rocks on our planet. The human race has even created bombs from nuclear material. But today we're going to talk about the positive aspects of this potentially dangerous material. We're going to talk about nuclear engineering. But first, welcome to my channel. I talk about jobs, education, careers, and more. Nuclear engineering comes from another viewer request. And with this video, I'm going to provide an overview of this career and what you can expect as a nuclear engineer. The specific topics I'll cover are what does a nuclear engineer do? Where are the jobs located? What education is needed for the job? Is this a growing career? And the last question that everybody wants to know, what does it pay? Now let's get into the details of nuclear engineering. So what does a nuclear engineer do? A nuclear engineer basically finds out what to do with radioactive materials. Nuclear power plants, well, they work there. Monitoring nuclear waste, well, they do that. Examine and review accidents like Fukushima in Japan, they do that too. Want to get rid of nuclear material? Well, this job writes up the instructions and procedures on how to do that. And they work to see how operations can be better managed and improvements made. Next, where are the jobs located? These jobs are located mostly in and around nuclear reactors. As you can see in the image here, jobs are most common on the east coast of the US. And like I mentioned, they congregate around areas in the country where nuclear power plant investment has been centered. And these nuclear facilities are either energy generating plants like the infamous Three Mile Island in New York, or federal research laboratories like Oak Ridge National Labs located in Tennessee. Now, what experience is needed as a nuclear engineer? To become a nuclear engineer, well, you'll need to get your four-year degree in, well, nuclear engineering. And several positions will require a PhD. Being in a job that deals with very complicated and, well, radioactive material, it will require a lot of skills and knowledge around nuclear material. If you're looking at nuclear engineering, a good site to check out is the American Nuclear Society. In this site, you'll find a brief summary and introduction to nuclear engineering. They also have scholarships available. I have that in the link in the description below. And while in college, you can join their honor society, Alpha Nu Sigma. Is this a growing career? In terms of job growth, this career isn't doing much of that. Over the next 10 years, this job is actually estimated to shrink by 13%. With a career field that's shrinking, it is possible to find a job but it's going to be much more difficult and a lot more competitive because you're going to be among a large group of people looking for jobs that are less and less common. Looking at the BLS map again, there used to be a nuclear facility in Hanford, Washington. And from what it shows, jobs are no longer located in Washington for nuclear engineers because that plant was decommissioned. Now, as I say this, it's only a forecast. There are groups like Bill Gates' company, Terra Power, where they're developing a sodium fast reactor system. This doesn't use water like we've seen in the movies. So the potential there is a much safer nuclear energy source. If the country decides to reinvest in nuclear energy, there should be a corresponding trend where more nuclear engineers will be needed, not less. And finally, how much does a nuclear engineer get paid? Pay for a nuclear engineer is pretty nice. The median salary for this career field is $113,460 per year. And from what I've seen, individuals in the top of this career field can make $180,000 and up. That's not too bad of a salary. Nuclear engineering looks to be pretty technical. If you like the scientific realm, radiation, and everything around nuclear energy, then this job might be the right one for you. Please see the links below for more information on this career if you're curious. And with that, thanks for listening. If you're in this job, please share your experience in the comments below. It's an awesome way to share ideas with others. Also, if you have comments and questions, please let me know in the comment section as well. If you liked watching this video, be sure to click the like button. And if you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. A click on the notification bell will give you alerts when I post new videos. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Be safe, have a good one, bye.